Asia Marie, and I am here to review this car seat. It's called the Brie Tax Click Tight Convertible Car Seat. My son is now 18 months old, so he just grew out of his infant car seat. It was time to replace it, so I bought this one. Let's get to it. <laughs> Now, they have different names for different styles. So even though this is the Brie Tax Click Tight Convertible Car Seat, it is the Advocate version. Allegedly, it's supposed to be like the top of the line of their, of their car seats, but who knows? All right, so, go ahead and open it up. So it looks like it's pretty much all put together. Uh, this is the owner's manual, so I'm going to cut that, and we're going to look at that in a second. Um, I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison between this car seat and the one we're about to part ways with. So, just for comparison purposes, this is the... Cheek, Chico Key 35 fit. Um, the infant car seat, rear facing. This is where his head is and his feet go this way. And this is how it would be up like this. So let me go ahead and turn it to the side view here. Let's turn it this way. Just so you guys can see the difference. All right, so as you can see, this one really reclines back for an infant. This one sits upright, but there are different levels where we can recline this one, I believe. And so we're gonna try to figure that out. So, out with the old and with the new. <laughs> this one came with a rebound bar, and I'm not sure you know, how long they're supposed to use a rebound bar, but I'm gonna look at the owner's manual and we'll figure that out. In the packet, there was a important warranty and then the owner's manual. So I'm gonna read this and then kind of give you my overview of how to adjust the seats and install it in your car. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I spent about 10 minutes reading the manual. I, to be fair, I am a quick reader, fast learner. So it took about 10 minutes to kind of go through everything I needed to learn about the car seat. I, I want to just do a disclaimer. Please read your manual. I do not work for Brie Tax. I'm not getting paid for this review. So I'm not going to include every feature in this review. I just want to show you overall the most important things I think you need to know about this advocate model for the Britax click tight convertible car seat, okay? So the first thing I wanna show you is this handle up here is for the shoulder harness to rise it to where your child's shoulder would hit or lower it. So you're just gonna pull on this handle and it'll bring this up and down. So all the way down here for if the shoulders are down here and then you pull it up for the shoulders to get up here. So that is a nice feature for that. The next thing I want to show you is the way you install this rebound bar. I am going to install this in the car rear facing because my son is not yet 35 pounds. So I'm gonna face him to the rear until then. And this is what this anti-rebound bar is for. So it tells us that this is called the click tight mechanism. And you're gonna push this little silver dot on the click tight and twist it. And wow, it lifts up. I've never seen this on a car seat before, so I was really impressed. So it's telling me to install this bar. We have to put it in Uh, hold on. Okay. See, real life. 
life. <laughs> to me, it was like I could just put it. After close examination, you're going to see that there's a red tabs here on the inside. And if you pull back this cover, you're gonna see a hole to put this rebound bar in. So okay, so. <laughs> Read y'all, reading is fundamental. Okay, how it says, once we close it, it'll secure the rebound bar. Okay. To remove it, you would open the clip tight and you would just pull it out. All right. Reading is fundamental. So that's the rebound bar. Once he is forward facing, I will remove this. You won't need it anymore. The next feature I want to show you is the the harness how to make it looser so your child can get in if you look closely inside there's a red button this is the harness release button that is going to help you loosen the straps so I'm going to press it and you see the straps got loose in order to tighten it you're going to pull this down just like any other car seat you will pull this to tighten the harness straps. Again, this opens up and you push the red button and you go here. This does have a harness holder. So if you want to loosen up the straps, you can loosen them up and stick them in the holders on the side so your child can easily get in and you can strap them in. Okay. Next, I'm going to show you the recline feature because, again, my son will be rear facing for a little while until he is about 30 to 35 pounds. So, well, first, to recline, there is a red, let's show you. A red handle under here is how you're going to recline the car seat. You're going to pull that handle and you're gonna adjust it to the recline that you prefer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you guys. So I'm pulling that red handle and I'm reclining. And there's seven positions that you're, you can recline to, okay? And you can just adjust it until it's in the position that you want for your child and that fits the back seats of your car. The instruction manual is going to explain that this should not hang over more than three inches of your back seat of your car. Where's the manual? <laughs> what do I do? Am I sitting on it? Sitting on it. So again, you're gonna pull that latch. That's how it reclines. Now I'm gonna show you how you are supposed to buckle, put the seatbelt through this car seat. And I'm going to use an example. Okay. So because this is called the click tight, this mechanism is the click tight mechanism. And you push this silver button and you twist the click tight mechanism. Again, this is gonna rise up. Now I want to go ahead and use the owner's manual because I want to be precise. Guys, what did I do with the manual? So once this is up, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it to the side so you can see. There is a hole here for your seatbelt. So if you were in your car and you had a seatbelt, you would 
pull your seatbelt through, through here, okay? You see? I'm not gonna turn this around. I'm pulling the seatbelt through here. And I'm gonna turn it to the other side again, and you're gonna pull it through. And then you would buckle your seatbelt here. Once you do that, you close. Put that in there. Make sure to see Catherine.